move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. One of the quickest ways infants learn is by imitation. As we get older, that desire to imitate is still there, although we're rarely conscious of it. When we see someone doing something, our brain responds as if we were the one performing the action ourselves, and sometimes this actually does make us do that action. We call this visuomotor priming, and it's an example of what's known as behaviour contagion. Like the flu, we can catch behaviour. Yawning is probably the most well-known form of behaviour contagion, but there are lots of examples and it happens all the time. It's why this player kicks the air when watching his teammates score a goal, and why this guy on the sidelines moves as if he's the one playing. This is an exciting field and we're finding practical uses for visuomotor priming to potentially help treat illnesses and disorders. For example, researchers are investigating the value of visuomotor priming to help stroke patients regain movement and to understand social interaction in children with autism. If you want to find out how well people can consciously influence others' actions, next time you're in a meeting or with a friend, try to use visual mode priming to influence their behaviour. Keep it safe and sensible, things like rubbing your chin, taking off your glasses or taking a drink, and see who copies you. Then let us know in the comments what worked, what didn't work, and in what circumstances. Oh, excuse me. No idea where that came from. Oh yeah.